Welcome to another Tempo Storm Meta Snapshot Breakdown! The Hearthstone meta is at a relatively stable point, with a severe lack of balance changes. The top decks continue to oppress the other decks, and there's a pretty noticeable gap between the tiers. If you've taken to Twitter lately or consumed any Hearthstone content, you've certainly seen people complain about everyone's favorite class, Priest. Priest has been a hot topic for quite a while now, but everyone has taken to ganging up on the poor class as of late. Is Priest strong enough to deserve this hate? Join us as we take a look at that question and more in today's Meta Snapshot Breakdown. Before we jump into the first tier, be sure to visit our website over at TempoStorm.com to view the rest of our meta report. And while you're at it, please take a minute to subscribe to our YouTube channel to be kept up to date with all of our Hearthstone content. Now let's jump right into Tier 1. Leading off Tier 1 in this Meta Snapshot Breakdown is the one and only Control Priest. This class has simply been dominating the meta, making a lot of players seriously consider quitting. While the class hasn't received many new tools from the mini set, its ability to discover answers from a tightly knit pool, while also generating nearly endless value and healing to full repeatedly, has left a really sour taste in the mouth of many players. If you decide to queue Priest, you'll probably see the best results with some practice, but be wary as players may add you to send you strongly worded messages. Don't say we didn't warn ya. Control Priest has a great matchup against the most aggressive decks on ladder, such as Face Hunter or Token Druid, as the ability to heal to full while clearing the board prevents your opponent's game plan from coming to fruition. As for bad matchups, Priest tends to struggle with both Aggro, Shaman, and Death Rattle Demon Hunter, but aside from these two niche matchups, Priest tends to find itself in a very comfortable place, with the majority of matchups being even too favorable. We strongly recommend learning how to play this deck before its inevitable nerf. The only other deck in Tier 1 in this meta snapshot breakdown is Rush Warrior. This archetype continues to find consistent success at all ranks, and even with its placement below Control Priest, Rush Warrior is a serious contender for the best deck in the game. The deck does what the name implies. It aims to use the rush keyword to maintain a board lead so it can repeatedly hit its opponent in the head with minions. Once the game transitions to the later stage, Warrior will make use of Alexstrasza and Troublemaker to close out the game with much leaded late game bombs. Rush Warrior has a pretty solid matchup chart, with its best one coming from Miracle Rogue and Elemental Shaman. Both of these decks struggle with the rush minions, and they can't really retake board once they lose it. Sadly, Rush Warrior does find itself struggling against the other tier 1 deck, Control Priest. You really can't stick any sort of board against Priest, and your late game threats don't really do anything, as your Priest opponent just heals up your chip damage, making this matchup pretty rough. As we mentioned before, there were only two decks within tier 1 this time around, so now we'll jump into the top three decks of tier 2. If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to head on over to TempoStorm.com to view the rest of our meta snapshot. Now let's take a peek at tier 2. Leading off tier 2 in this meta snapshot breakdown is Elemental Shaman. This archetype came to the fore front of the meta thanks to the latest mini set, and it has been sitting comfortably near the top since. Elemental Shaman makes use of all of Shaman's elemental synergies to take board aggressively and never let go. In the late game, you'll close it out using large minions or burn. It's really refreshing to see a non-evolved Shaman archetype performing well, and honestly, having Shaman in the meta is something we've waited for for a while. Elemental Shaman has a good matchup against its aggressive counterpart, as you can take board and push your damage early while they get stuck with an awkward hand and of burn. As for bad matchups, Elemental Shaman tends to find itself struggling with OTK Demon Hunter, as they can wipe your board and heal back up while doing that. The next deck we'll be taking a look at in Tier 2 is Aggro Hunter. It kinda feels like Aggro Hunter is the only form of Hunter we've had in a while, doesn't it? Aggro Hunter has a fairly traditional game plan, spend the early turns developing a board, and then aim to close the game out with over-the-top burn. It also has access to large minions in the vein of Trampling Rhino to punish your opponent if they leave minions up. Aggro Hunter takes advantage of other board-based decks such as Death Rattle Demon Hunter. As they can't stop your burn, Illidan will often scoop to Coal Car Pack Runner with a bunch of cheap spells. On the flip side, Aggro Hunter has a rough time against Control Priest as your board is never safe and your chip damage is pretty irrelevant. The last deck we'll be taking a look at is Aggro Shaman. This archetype is similar to Elemental Shaman, but instead of aiming to maintain a board lead all game, it moves into a burn plan focused on cheap spells and Doom Hammer. If your opponent doesn't have healing or weapon removal, Doom Hammer can often spell defeat once equipped. Aggro Shaman is reminiscent of the older aggressive Shaman lists that were focused on Tunnel Trog and Burn Damage. Aggro Shaman has a good matchup against Control Priest, as they aren't really running Acidic Swamp Ooze right now, and they can't interact with your weapon. Priest will struggle to mount much pressure, and as long as you actively play around Apotheosis, you should be fine. Thank you for watching yet another one of our meta snapshot breakdowns. As we mentioned earlier, we believe that there will be a balance patch in the coming weeks, but only time will tell what Blizzard has planned. Over here, we hope to see
see Priest toned down a little bit to make the game more enjoyable. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel to be kept up to date with all of our Hearthstone content. As always, if you learned anything from this video, let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.